Let's take a look at increasing decimal division patterns. Okay, notice all of these numbers are being divided by 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, and so on. So let's think about a simpler problem for just a minute because I want you to think about place value and how it's based on the number 10. Let's say we were to take 3 times 10. Right, you know off the top of your head that three times 10 is 30. So you might think of that as just adding a zero, right? Well, it's also making the three one place value bigger, right? Three is the same thing as saying 3.0. So when we move that decimal point one place to the right, we get 30 and we made it 10 times bigger or one place value bigger. If we were to do the same thing and say 3 or 3.0, this time times 100, well, this is two place values, right? 100 is 10 times 10. So we would move it one, two places to become 300, right? Filling in that extra zero. So if you move the decimal point to the right to make the number bigger, when you're multiplying by 10 or 100, we do three places for 1,000, four places for 10,000, right? However many zeros you have when you're multiplying by 10, 100, 1,000, and so on, each of those zeros would be telling us to move the decimal point one place to the right to make our number bigger. So when we're dividing, it's the opposite of that. If I were to say three, which again is the same thing as 3.0, if I'm gonna divide it by 10, instead of multiplying by 10, well, division makes our number smaller. So instead of moving our decimal point one place to the right, this would be telling me to move my decimal point one place to the left. So that would become 0 0.3. And then same thing if you had, for example, 3.0 divided by 100, well, then instead of moving my decimal point one place to the left, those two zeros would be telling me to move it two places to the left and I'd have to fill in that extra zero. So that would be 0 0.03. So notice, when we multiply by 10, we make our number bigger by moving our decimal point to the right, and when we divide by 10, or 100, or 1,000, we make our number smaller by moving our decimal point to the left. So if you count how many zeros, that's gonna tell you how many places to move your decimal point. All right, so some number divided by 10 gave us this as our answer. So this was our answer after we made our number smaller by moving our decimal point one place to the left. So what was it before we divided by 10? Well, it must have been one decimal place bigger or one decimal place to the right. So that would have been zero point, just one zero in front of the three, zero, three, seven, one, eight. Okay, and let me write that out over here again so you can kind of see if it was 0 0.03718, well, when we divided by 10, we would move it one place this way to get this answer. Now notice, these would all be the same number as what I just put here. These would all be 0 0.03718 because when I take that same number and divide it by 100, I would make it two decimal places smaller. For 1,000, three decimal places smaller. So notice each of these are putting one more zero in here because we're dividing by one more zero. So these would all have started out as 0 Okay, we have a very similar pattern here. Each of these has one more zero in front of this number, right? Because our decimal point was moved one more place each time we divided by one more zero, right? 10, 100, 1,000, or 10,000. So for the first one, well, if this was our answer after we divided by 10, well then before we divided by 10, it would have been one decimal place bigger or one decimal place to the right. So that would have been 0 0.1843, right? 
And then of course, when we divide by 10, it moves it one place to the left to make our number smaller, which is exactly what you see there. Now, since we see that each one of these is divided by one more zero, right? 100 instead of 10, 1,000 instead of 100, 10,000 instead of 1,000, notice there's just one more zero in front. So these all would have started out at the exact same number. They all would have started out at 0 0.1843. Okay, let's complete our pattern. After we divided by 10, this was our answer. So this was our answer after we made it one decimal place smaller by moving our decimal one place to the left. So before we divided by 10, it would have been one decimal place bigger or one decimal place to the right. So this one would have started out at 0 0.1279. Now notice I have one more zero in front of each of these every time I divide by one more zero, right? 100 instead of 10, 1,000 instead of 100. So again, these all started out at that same number of 0 